Hello, everyone. Hello, Bluebeard. So I have the solar panels now mounted on the truck. I put a roof rack on. I wanted an aerodynamic uh, way of mounting the solar panels, and I didn't want them to stick directly to the top of the roof, like with um, some kind of sticky tape or Velcro tape or something like that. So I decided to put a roof rack on, except I didn't want the roof rack to be permanently mounted to the truck. So I used a product called Sea Suckers, which are marine grade suckers that hold the rack down. And hopefully that's going to work. Um, the, my biggest worry would be that, you know, at high speed or something, the thing could sort of pull on top or lift off. Uh, my worry is not weight because this, although this rack, roof rack was uh, intended to carry items on top, the only thing that's ever going to be on there are the solar panels uh, because trying to keep it aerodynamic, if you were to mount things on top on the rack and use it like a rack, which a lot of people do, it totally destroys your coefficient of drag. So there's no way that I'm going to do that. Uh, so that it will never carry that much of a load. Should be okay with the sea suckers. Uh, you just, they have a, a marker on them where you check to see if they, what the power, sucking power is left in them. And so you can visually check that. Nothing that I purchased was sponsored by anybody or anything like that. Um, these are all just products that I did research on Amazon, tried to figure out what would be the best thing to use. And in most cases, I, it was used on Amazon, so I tried to save money. The roof rack uh, is made by a company called Hook Road. And uh, it wasn't made for this, wasn't made for the Lightning for sure. Um, it's supposed to fit uh, 2009 through 2014 F-150s, um, and this of course is 2022 uh, Lightning, but um, because I was using the Sea Sucker suction cups and the way I was mounting it was not using their standard mounting brackets that they supplied with the rack, uh, I actually got it to fit okay. I did modify the rack. Uh, like, for instance, across the front, there should be a, a quarter-inch plate panel. I replaced that with an ABS plastic uh, sheet that I cut to the same dimensions. And the only problem with it so far is that it does seem to warp a little bit as it heats up. So I'm, I'll probably have to put some more bolts in there or something. For the roof-mounted tent, I got a tent from a company called Camp Point. It was the cheapest roof-mounted tent I could find on Amazon. Um, I think it was shipped directly from China. It was um, like $1,000 less than anything I could find from larger companies that were selling the smaller size roof mounted tent. I wanted something that would fit behind the cab uh, and not, and of course the bed on the Lightning is shorter, so it had to be fairly small. The only thing about it is the way they make it, it's made, if you mount it aerodynamically, to fit, to open to this side of the truck. And I wanted it to open to the left side of the truck, not the driver's side. So uh, to mount, if you're mounting it that way, the larger end, which was supposed to be the back end, is mounted towards the front. However, when I combine it with the roof rack that is now housing the solar panel, it kind of matches the height and it actually slopes down to hopefully create a little more aer aerodynamic um, profile. You may recall from a previous video I did, uh, I had a project board set up with the uh, solar controller, the inverter and batteries and so on set up on that board. And I used that to test out um, uh, collecting solar each day from the, from the panels. What I've done in this case is I've taken all of that and moved that into this DZ box. Uh, why did I pick DZ? I didn't, I didn't pick it for any particular reason other than it was plastic and it was easy to cut and I wanted to um, mount a lot of things in it and put some ports in it for power. So this modified DZ truck bed box 
uh, fits in to this setup that I've created with these eye bolts. And then locks in place with this uh, shackle lock. So again, you may recall from the previous video that this ends up being a 2.5 kilowatt hour system, which I have shown would give me about somewhere around five miles per day of range. Um, I'm, what I'm working towards is a 10 kilowatt hour system with a fold out um, array that would augment this system that's permanently mounted so that when you get to a campsite, you can fold that out and then you can collect 10 kilowatt hours of power for the day, which would work out to be about 20 miles of range. I will be coming out with another video that shows this solar array and I have some ideas for how it would work and how it would fold out. Um, however, this stuff is quite expensive and um, I've been, I don't get any support or anything. The channel is not big enough. I don't have uh, I, I appreciate all the subscribers that I have, but I don't have enough to make any money at this. So it may be a little while before I come out with an additional video, but please subscribe and click the notify button. And so that you're sure to see that video when it comes out, uh, I will get that out as soon as I can.